I'm Amy Rager with the University of Minnesota Extension and the Minnesota Master Naturalist Program, and I nominated my colleague and close friend Andrea Lorick Strauss for the Non Formal Educator of the Year Award. Um, Andrea and I go way back. We first met when she drove the Prairie Ecology bus out to Granite Falls and uh, taught the youngsters out there all about ecology on the prairie. And today we work closely together every day. Andrea is an outstanding educator who is very interested in engaging both youth and adults in environmental education and conservation in Minnesota. And it has been my honor to nominate her for this award. Andrea has been a member of the environmental education community in Minnesota for a long time. She has a degree in English and was going to be an English teacher, but uh, upon graduating from high school mid-year, or excuse me, from college mid-year, decided that uh, an environmental internship might be the way to go. And that was the beginning of Andrea's career in non-formal environmental education. She uh, then was an uh, intern at Wolf Ridge. She worked at the Prairie Ecology Bus. She was the education director at the International Wolf Center. Um, and then she came to the University of Minnesota Extension and she has worked across the state of Minnesota with youth and adults, helping them understand how to be good stewards of the land, good volunteers, and how to engage uh, with decision makers in helping Minnesota to be the best place it can be. Andrea's work uh, across the state of Minnesota has inspired many people to do many different things. I think of one example, one time uh, Andrea was um, banding birds and was holding the bird in her hand. And uh, I remember how excited the volunteers were to have this opportunity to be able to provide these opportunities for volunteers to actually do this and make them so excited to want to go out and do more volunteer service across the state of Minnesota. And Andrea instills that willingness to just get the work done and to do it well and to realize that every little thing you do has a long lasting impact on the ecosystem here. Now we're live, everybody. This is Trail Tuesday Live with uh, Joe Valeski, who is at Chickadee Landing. Andrea has been involved with the City Nature Challenge Project in Minnesota for the past five years as the statewide coordinator. She works with other agencies and organizations across Minnesota to help document urban diversity. So it's been mostly focused in the Twin Cities metro area. Um, Andrea has been very involved in citizen science programming in Minnesota. She's taken the lead uh, for many groups at the University of Minnesota. She started an internal project at the U to bring colleagues together and has worked externally as well. She created a program called Driven to Discover that is for teachers and non-formal educators to get youth and adults both involved in asking a scientific question and documenting the process and learning more about citizen science by, by being a scientist yourself. She has done work for professional development in this area of citizen science with the Citizen Science Symposium, where big name speakers have been brought into Minnesota and opportunities for people to network and learn more about what is happening in the field of citizen science in Minnesota has been created. And she continues to be a force in the area of citizen science today in Minnesota. The impacts that Andrea has had on environmental education in Minnesota will be long lasting. She has done many things from helping transfer uh, courses to online venues that are impactful and meaningful. She has authored many journal articles that will help form environmental education going forward into the future, uh, created a volunteer model to help utilize volunteers in the best effective way moving forward. Um, she has written books and uh, been involved in many things that are lasting. Um, Andrea's legacy in environmental education will be around for a long, long time in Minnesota. Congratulations, Andrea, on being the 2021 Educator of the Year. This is such a huge and well-deserved honor, and we're all extremely proud of you. You are truly an inspiration and have such a huge impact across this state on educators and naturalists and um, people who are excited to learn about the outdoors because of you. Andrea, congratulations on your award as the 2021 Non-Formal Educator of the Year. You're one of Extension's best. Andrea, you are a rock star. Congratulations from all your friends at the Bell Museum for being recognized as Educator of the Year. Way to go. Congratulations, Andrea. Yeah, well-deserved. Obviously, uh, you know, we're glad that you're on our team 
uh, keep up the good work. Um, and congratulations again on your non-formal educator of the year award. Wonderful. Congratulations, Andrea, on being named the Non-Formal Educator of the Year. Quite an honor and a recognition of all the effort you spent in refining your technique and being one of the best educators I know. Congratulations. Andrea, congratulations on this amazing award, Non-Formal Educator of the Year. We are just so proud of you. Congratulations on being the Non-Formal Educator of the Year, Andrea. It's a well-deserved award, and we're lucky to have you with the Master Naturalist program. Hey, Andrea, congrats on the award. You sure are setting the bar pretty high for the rest of us. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and it's a really big reflection of everything that you do so well. So congrats again. Hey, Andrea, I am so proud and excited that you're getting this award from MAEE. It's uh, been my pleasure to work with you over the years, a well-deserved honor. Congratulations. Hey Andrea, congratulations for the award. Thanks for all the inspiration. Trail Tuesdays, anyone? The Minnesota Association for Environmental Education is very excited to present the 2021 Non-Formal Environmental Educator Award to Andrea Lorick Strauss. Andrea's work with the Minnesota Master Naturalist Program has had impact statewide, and her leadership in the environmental education community in the state is really inspiring especially when it comes to citizen science programming. We can't think of anybody else more deserving of this award. Congratulations, Andrea.